da página 48. Portanto, 48. for you a rosary each day. <clears throat> Fatima, it's time that you appear. Help us work to you to banish war and fear of your lady of the Saturday we ask your guiding hand for grace and guide us in on earth and protection for our land in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to all pilgrims, especially those from Connecticut, Michigan, Michigan Reno, 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 and Melbourne to the shrine of Our Lady of Fatima. As you know very well, we celebrate the 100th year of the apparitions the day after, or on, on Friday, will be the 100th year of the miracle of the sun. Recog we recognize also that Our Lady here introduced herself as the Lady of the Holy Rosary. And it stressed the importance of the Rosary in order to obtain peace and harmony in the whole world. Let us take advantage of these days in order to reflect on the plea of our Blessed Mother for salvation for all and prayer for those especially who still do not believe in God or continue to offend him. Let us prepare to celebrate worthily this Eucharist, our encounter and with Christ, her son, by acknowledging our sinfulness, asking God pardon for all our iniquities. As we prepare for the coming of the Lord, we recall our faults and beg His mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. 
have mercy. Have mercy on us, dear Lord. Forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven as beautiful as a bride, all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people and he shall be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death, no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. The word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You, you are, are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You, you are, are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believe that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Bangala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment the disciples made a place for her in his home. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Your Excellency, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Deacon, dear brothers and sisters in Christ from all around the world, most especially from Australia, United States, and the, Phil and the Philippines. A few years ago, there was a great things going on here in Europe, especially in the country of Australia. The Archduke of the Austro-Hungarian Empire just died. And according to the royal protocol, there are so there's things that needs to be followed in order to bury the dead prince. In the Cathedral of St. Stephen's Platz in Austria, there was a big procession from the cathedral to the monastery where the royal families were buried. And when the body of the uh, dead prince arrived on that front of the monastery, the Franciscan fathers closed the door according to the royal protocol. And the royal herald knocked three times on the door. And after he knocked three times, the head of the Franciscan order will say, who dare to enter? And the royal herald will say the name of the prince, and he will tell all the princely regalia and titles that the prince whole held during his lifetime. And after the royal herald says all those princely titles, the head of the Franciscan will say, we, we know him not. For the second time, the royal herald will knock three times. And once again, the head of the Franciscan will say, who dares to enter? And then the royal heralds will say all the civil titles of the prince, the president of the Austro-Hungarian parliament or whatever. And after he says all the civil titles, once again, the head of the Franciscan order will say, we know him not. For the third time, the royal heralds will knock three times. And for the third time, the head of the Franciscan will say, who dares to enter? And once again, the royal hell will say in a simple word, the name of the prince, and he will say, a man, a sinful man. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we are here in this place, a place of peace, where we all gather from all around the world to celebrate, of course, the Blessed Mother, but also we have to think and focus ourselves in to which the Blessed Mother is always pointing, and that is her son. The Blessed Mother appears here almost 100 years ago. And there is one thing that the Blessed Mother is always telling us, and that is to cultivate peace, peace, and peace. Yes, we pray for peace. Yes, we pray for the absence of war in the world. But we forget and neglect to look deep within ourselves. Are we living in peace? Are we cultivating in, in peace? Are we basically watering peace in our lives. Yes, it is good to pray for peace, but once again, we have to realize and to think that it has to start with me. One of the great um, words from the uh, prayer of St. Francis is, let it be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Yes, peace, we pray for the absence of war. Yes, we, we pray for friendship and connection with all the cultures around the world, but we forget and neglect to look deep within our hearts. Humility, my brothers and sisters in Christ, is not just a word, but it's an action. For my group, we're going back home to the United States, and there is this one resolution that I would like to tell my group, and that is to transform our lives, our hearts, and be an instrument of peace in this world. We know that the world is always at conflict, in conflict with itself. But remember, remember that the only thing that we will carry in our lives, not the princely titles, not the material things of the world that gives, and that is humility, to recognize that all of us are sinful, to recognize that all of us have been saved by our Lord. We have to recognize that in order to cultivate peace, it has to begin with us. You may remain seated for the offertory. 
Let us continue to pray for peace in the whole world. And we will understand that, that peace can come only in God, in the heart of God. That's why we have to consecrate ourselves to the heart that is completely dedicated to God, the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother. Uh, you may stand. Here at the sacred spot where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his son to be our mother. For all the faithful that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they may be attentive to the word of God, love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm. As Mary, as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously cooperate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us here present and for our families, that by the intercession of Mary, those who seek Christ may find him. Sinners may be converted, Young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us entrust all our petitions to God through the hands of our Holy Mother and say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands with the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise so that in celebrating the feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may abso absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate the, this memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, 
merited to conceive him in her virginal womb. And in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross, the testament of divine charity, received all men as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her sup supplications to the prayers of the disciples, and thus became the model of the sublime church. She then finally elevated to the glory of heaven, surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church, and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the Lord. And so, with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory and join in the unending hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Can you see it? It comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Antonio our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have praised you, pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to each other a sign of peace. <laughs> Lamb of God. We take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. All I am not worthy, but all this is a word that my soul shall be. Let us pray. 
Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant we pray you that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of us all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us now all go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Happy birthday to those who celebrate their birthdays and their anniversaries. Let us sing to our Blessed Mother. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Yeah.